Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today as we're sitting here talking about WWE's Survivor Series, which is going to be coming up in two weeks on the WWE Network. I know that we just had Evolution, we just had Crown Jewel, but uh, boom, two weeks from today, we're beginning WWE Survivor Series 2018. Uh, they are once again going the uh, the Raw versus SmackDown route. Um, there was some small talks basically thinking that people... We're going to be changing up the way Survivor Series was, and they wouldn't do Raw versus SmackDown. I don't know why. I mean, I was a fan of Battleground back in the day, but Raw versus SmackDown the last two years has honestly gotten me really, really excited. Uh, I can tell you that uh, last year, the hype uh, for Survivor Series for me was probably at an all-time high. It probably was the, the pay-per-view that I was most excited for since probably since WrestleMania 32, the last... Um, WrestleMania that I'd gone to, and I was so hyped that WrestleMania packages had already gone on sale, but I was starting to think of maybe finding a way to be able to go to Orlando uh, to go to WrestleMania, trying to you know, piece together a trip, maybe piggyback off some other people, and um, then Survivor Series came. Uh, it honestly really was a really good two and th three quarter hour show. And then the men's uh, tag match just came to a screeching halt with um, Triple H making the match about himself. I've always been a Triple H fan. I still am a Triple H fan today. But him making that match about himself more than about anything else, I, I didn't understand it. Taking time to stop the match, to eliminate Kurt Angle. I know that it set up the Kurt Angle uh, tag match at WrestleMania with um, uh, Rousey and Angle going up against Stephanie and, and Triple H. But um, at that time, that was just a ground screeching halt for me, especially with that Rousey wasn't even in WWE at the time. And you couldn't really 100% tell what they were doing. It just put a sickening feeling in my stomach, and all of my WrestleMania plans were crumpled up and thrown in the trash. This year, um, the second that they announced um, Survivor Series, the first match that they announced uh, was Ronda Rousey going up against Becky Lynch for the Women's Championship. Um, that's going to be a really good match, um, seeing how it's the two best women in the, in the world today. Obviously, Ronda Rousey over on the Monday Night Raw brand, in my opinion, doesn't have any competition to go up against. Becky Lynch just went through hell and back with Charlotte Flair um, to beat her um, at Evolution and possibly one of the best women's matches that... I've ever seen, um, to be honest, and Becky Lynch basically saying that no one's going to be able to stop her is showing no fear going up against Ronda Rousey on the Monday Night Raw brand. I think that this is going to be um, some good, fun, fierce competition. Um, you've got the uh, United States champion going up against the Intercontinental title holder. Um, you've got uh, Rollins going up against Nakamura. This is easily... A dream match uh, that when Nakamura was going through NXT, uh, people pointed to and said basically it would be awesome to see these guys go up against each other. And I'm pretty sure it's the first time being able to see this match. The only thing is that if, if, out of the three matches that have been named, you know, last year I knew that one of those titles was going to change hands. And I think that honestly it was uh, Natalia lost um, the SmackDown's Women's Championship before... She was able to have her match. Um, but this year, something's going to happen with this match, and I'm pretty sure it's going to involve Seth Rollins dropping that Intercontinental title. Um, you know, definitely him versus Ambrose is going to be the biggest storyline that is running on Monday Night Raw. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Ambrose causes Rollins to lose the Intercontinental title. Um, so he loses this match. And he's not able to be a part of it. Um, that, in my opinion, is something that's going to happen. Plus, something has to happen with those Raw titles, and that's the only way, um, the, the only reason why I don't think a tag team match has been named. But, uh, if Nakamura versus Rollins does happen, um, I think that this is going to be a really good match. Um, when we flip over, we look at the, um, uh, WWE uh, Championship match, which is going to be Brock Lesnar going up against AJ Styles. It honestly doesn't get any bigger than this. Last year, we had to have a last-minute um, AJ beating Jinder Mahal to make this match happen. And if anybody was going to beat Brock, I honestly think that it was going to be AJ Styles. And AJ, even though he lost the match, 
he looked really good going in that war, and I think he was able to bring a new style to Brock Lesnar that we had never seen before, and I think that's why people are really so fired up uh, to see this. Um, we don't have any plans as of right now to see what's going to be going down with the men's uh, champion or the men's tag match. Uh, more than likely, I see most of the competitors from the World Cup being involved in that match. Uh, SmackDown possibly being led um, by um, Shane McMahon, Monday Night Raw probably being uh, ran uh, by Kurt Angle. Um, probably you've got uh, Kurt Angle, Dolph Ziggler, Drew McIntyre. Uh, Braun Strowman, and uh, it, the easiest guy to pick would be Dean Ambrose. But I'm telling you that Dean Ambrose is going to be doing something with Seth Rollins. Um, so I don't know who you're going to be able to pick as that fifth guy um, on the team off the top of my head to be the Raw brand. But you flip over, you look at SmackDown, it could be you know Shane McMahon, it could be uh, Samoa Joe. Um, shoot, who else do you got going over there? I mean... That it, it, it's they just have to put the storyline together about how they're going to be able to build this team and if they're going to be able to work together because I, off the name that I named already, I mean you've got Strowman, McIntyre, and you've got Ziggler, and those guys all pretty much have heat with each other. When you look over at the SmackDown brand, you've got Shane McMahon who just removed the Miz uh, from the World Cup Finals. Um, the Miz was injured, but he doesn't seem that happy about being taken out of it. Um, but uh, we'll have to see what goes down with this one. But I think the Survivor Series honestly is going to be a big show. I don't think I'm going to get as hyped for this as I did for last year, so I don't want to get anybody psyched up uh, thinking that maybe I have WrestleMania plans to go to New York. If I was gonna ever going to go to WrestleMania again, it's not going to be New York City. I, I've talked about that in past videos. It's just too expensive, too big, and just too much stuff that there is. Someday I'm going to go to New York. I'll travel around and look at all the sights to see in the city. Um, and I, when I watched everybody's uh, uh, videos uh, from WrestleMania 29, uh, I really missed, number one, going to the 9-11 thing. I missed uh, the, uh, the Briscoe's title change. Uh, at the ROH show. The ROH show, I think, took place at the uh, place where Monday Night Raw, at the Man I think it was at the Manhattan Center. So that would be one thing that I would always want to cross off my book is being able to see at least the center or something go down there, go to Madison Square Garden to see the Hall of Fame. Nothing, I think, is going to be held at Madison Square Garden other than that New Japan uh, show that, that's going to be happening WrestleMania weekend. So, um, I mean, there is things that I'm going to be able to not be able to cross on my wrestling bucket list, but when it just comes down to talking about Survivor Series, this is going to be a really good show. I'm hyped about it, and I honestly hope you guys are too.